this week's lesson on landscape using lots of um, different lines and abstract ways to use the pencil other than smooth, um, such as these different types of strokes. So we're gonna try and do varied strokes and you're gonna be picking a landscape um, photo, but you're going to abstract it, you're gonna simplify it, and then um, you're going to use all kinds of varied strokes, swirly strokes and cross hatching and diagonals and horizontals, um, and not do as much of the smooth blending like we've been doing. One of the options I'll show you right now, and then I'll show you the, the other option later, is to do a um, watercolor underpainting. Um, so I'm looking at this photo here of Northern England, and I'm noticing that there's a lot of weeds growing and there's some yellows. Um, so what I might wanna do is put some complementary colors, some darker colors under here, and then I can put the the strokes of weeds, the lighter weeds uh, on top. Um, and then maybe use some purples here. And I could even use um, like a blue or a yellow here and then stroke the other color on top. So I've, I've kind of drawn it out, as you can see, tried to section it off into some simple sections. And I have my paint set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my base coat and then later on when it's dry, I'll show you how I'm gonna add the pencil strokes on top. Um, one of the things we know about the yellow um, colored pencils is they aren't as opaque. And I think you guys have discovered that. So I might go ahead and, and just put yellow in some of this area and then go over it later with um, oranges and, and negative painting around it. Okay. So I think I'll, this is a hot press arches watercolor paper. So I'm going to use green and I, I think I'll use yellow. And this is a more orangey yellow. And I'll use some of that in some of these areas. So I'll put some yellow right in here where I know these flowers are gonna be. And then I'll um, have some turquoisey blue mixed in. Here's a um, manganese and cerulean, a little uh, a peacock blue. And I can put that in here. then I can define the flowers later on with the colored pencil. So I'm just putting a, a really loose um, area of paint as my background. And then I think I'll go ahead and put um, some yellows. Now let's, let's do some blues. Some cobalt blue up in here. And then we're gonna think like Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night, and we'll put some wild strokes in the sky for clouds. We can use some whites. Um, and let's see, I'm gonna go in with, I think some more blue down in here. Maybe a dark blue. And maybe some yellow. And then I think I'd like to do some purple down in here. So I'm gonna use a, a cool blue, like ultramarine blue right here. And that's gonna be in this area right here. And then I'll put some permanent rose, which is a, a purpley kind of red, a magenta sort of red on top here. And the nice thing about this abstract way of working is you can 
you can make the colors brighter than what they what they would normally do and think about the way some of the abstract painters the uh, blue rider and the the fauvists uh did their work okay and that's going to be in my base coat then i'll come back later and show you what i do with this afterwards okay wipe off the tape here so this was on a watercolor paper but you could probably do it on your um your regular paper that we use the uh, bristol the vellum bristol